And first tonight, a Denver 7 exclusive, a firestorm of controversy surrounding our stories about racial indifference at a local school. And now the teacher many are putting at the center of it is speaking out. Good evening, I'm Andrew Heal. And I'm Shannon Ogden. Denver 7's Teresa Marchetta broke the story about Faith Christian Academy last week. Uh, Teresa, he says addressing racism, racism is what got him fired. And he also says that there are inaccuracies in the way the superintendent at Faith Christian Academy is explaining his sudden departure from the school. Greg Tucker spent 17 years at the private Christian school in Arvada. He says students came to him about racial tensions. He organized a panel discussion trying to address their concerns, and a few weeks later, he was fired. It all started with complaints over a chapel panel on race and faith Greg Tucker organized for students. In an open letter after he left Faith Christian, Tucker wrote to parents explaining that after students came to him with concerns, he did some research and discovered a surge in racist incidents at Faith Christian Academy. He took action, notifying parents and faculty of the panel he had planned to facilitate on the topic. I talked with several parents who tell me it was desperately needed. We don't feel safe. Um, she's been told to go back to the cotton fields. Other parents say there is no racism at the school and Tucker had no right to start a discussion. Superintendent Andrew Haas agreed with them. He has declined to sit down for an on-camera interview, calling our stories about the racial concerns slanderous, uninformed, and untrue. He sent this letter to parents February 26th, saying that Tucker and school administration mutually agreed to part ways and that the topic of racism was not a factor in the decision, citing ongoing differences which have nothing to do with the topic of race or equality. Not so fast. Tucker says in this statement he released to me today, the termination of my employment, he says, was not a mutual separation, and I did not agree that the issue of race and equality had nothing to do with it. Mr. Haas, in fact, explained to me that my opposition to racial discrimination had very much to do with their decision to terminate my employment. Tucker goes on to say how the administration has handled the issue of racism was and is a fundamental point of contention. And it is so important for us to recognize this debate has generated passionate feelings on all sides. Some at Faith Christian feel their community is unfairly under attack. They deny that racism exists there, while others, including alumni, have reached out to me. They feel this discussion is long overdue. We're going to continue to follow this very important conversation mm -hmm. and wow. bring you new developments. All Thank right. You for that, Thank you. And by the way, if you want to share your stories of school misconduct or if you have another tip for the Denver 7 Investigates team, you can call us anytime. Our tip line number is 303-832-TIPS. You can also send us a message, any of us, on social media.